Well, it's happened. In January, we've lost one of the co-founders of Street Pass Princeton, and we are here with the other co-founder, Robert Olberg. And we're going to ask him some questions about the events coming up and what he's going to do about being the sole founding member now. So, first off, what are your plans for this loyalty program I've heard so much about? Well, the loyalty program is really our way to try to get the forums far more active because while Facebook and all these other sites are great, the forums are really the core of any community. So what we're really trying to do is when people basically sign into the forums and they post 10 um, posts in the forums and make their little introduction, at every meetup there will be a raffle and all the people that are part of the forums will not have to pay any money to enter the raffle. There's going to be a fee to enter. It's going to be a dollar fee to enter in the raffle unless you are signed into the forums. Another thing, a benefit to being in the forums is that we're going to have prizes that you can win for showing up for events, which more details will be on that soon, and basically just trying to motivate people to get people in the forums so that we can basically keep more contact with people and get them more motivated, besides just coming to events, but participating in the group. Sounds good. Now, in the last few months, you've had Skylanders, Just Dance, and other games that are not just centric to 3DS. Uh, what other ones do you plan to do besides that? Well, there's definitely a chance for us to do Mario Kart Wii and probably Rhythm Heaven Fever. I'm definitely interested in doing a contest for that. Um, but it's really based up to the members of the group. Um, we're strictly still mostly a 3DS group. I mean, all these other things are more side diversions at an event or two for the year. Um, these are more at serious events, like if we're having in May when we're going to have the con and our Halloween party, we're going to definitely have other things going on, like tournaments for you know Nintendo-related things. Like the Wii but, U. Like the Wii. Wii U coming out, we'll definitely have something for that. But most likely, you're not going to see every other event or like every event with another game that's not 3DS related. It's mostly going to strictly be mostly 3DS related with an occasional Skylanders or occasional Brawl or something like that, okay. like once every six months. So we just finished the January event focusing on Skylanders and Mario Kart 7 and Pushmo and so forth and so on. What are you going to be doing for the next event? When's that going to happen? What events? Activities. So the next event is going to be February 25th, which is going to be outside the Princeton Library Plaza, which there will be all of these tables and chairs and stuff like that. Um, there will be hot chocolate and candy for all members attending, and there's going to be certain candy that you can get if you bring a certain game, because February is a very big month for the 3DS. Besides Resident Evil and Tekken, which we'll be showcasing, there's also going to be um, Tales of the Abysses, which is coming out on February 14th, and there's also Metal Gear Solid 3D, and even uh, Rayman, I believe, Origins is also coming out February 20th. So if you bring a certain game, you will get a certain piece of candy that I will have basically based on which games, if you show me that. Um, our two big things will be there's going to be a Resident Evil contest co-op, and whoever gets the highest score, the team gets the highest score, will be showcased on the Facebook. And they're also going to win a $10 GameStop gift card. Um, our Tekken tournament will be between three prizes. There will be a little Snivy doll, which will be for the first place winner, a Perler bead for second, and the third place winner will get a game on the eShop. So that will be for the Tekken tournament. There is no entry fee for the Tekken tournament for anyone that's registered on the forums. But if you're not registered on the forums, you have to pay a $5 fee to enter in the Tekken tournament. So, um, besides just those two games, we always have our casual play. So like this one, we had Four Swords and we had Mario Kart. And most likely you will see Four Swords, Mario Kart, Tetris, or most likely even Star Fox at the next event as casual play. All right. And when is that going to be? That's going to be February 25th from two uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it will be at the Princeton Public Library Plaza. Oh, yeah.
Now, the, I told you the big news that we that we're talking about right now is that your, your brother Nicholas he he left the group. But uh, what, what do you uh, what? How do you feel about him no longer being a part of the group in substantial form? I mean, it's always sad because Nicholas was such a part of the group, and he did a lot of things for the group, and he's really going to be missed. And obviously, there's no way that we can fill a void of having Nicholas left the group. But um, you have to push on and you have to keep going. It's just there really isn't anything else I can do. Um, he's going his separate way. He's going to join the Philly group. So I'm sure that they're very happy to, to have Nicholas in there. That's going to be a great advantage for them. But, you know, with Nicholas leaving, there's always a spot for someone else to come in and help out for events and, and tape and things like that. So really, um, it's sad to see Nicholas go. But I'm um, just going to forge on, and uh, we're looking for more admins on the Facebook group. And currently Ian, I know, from the Martinsville group is going to step up for the Google Plus Hangout. So, but besides that, it's pretty much it. All right. So that concludes our questions to our friend Rod here. And I uh, hope to see you in the next event for, and future events for Street Pass Princeton. And for all of you at Street Pass Philly, hope you enjoy having Nick on your side.